my name is Sophie Maker, VA here, Maker, if you came out, and welcome to the next video. This is kind of like a vlog, but I call it a chat box slash vloggy thing. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to say that um, this is just um, another one. I did this earlier this year, and you guys seem to like this, where you I showed you some of the art pieces that I have done throughout my uni so far, and eventually going to show you what will be doing next, which is probably the painting that you see at the back and a few other things as well. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is what I did last semester and like I said, you guys seem to enjoy my art videos I'm doing, doing on my channel and you guys seem to enjoy the uh, past ones I've done. And anyway, um, also, yes, I am wearing my dressing gown. Um, I was actually going to change into my jacket because I'm wearing clothes underneath this, but it turns out I accidentally put this dressing gown on and I don't know how I got that confused and now I'm just wearing the dressing gown. So yeah. Anyway, so anyway, let's get started. It's a lot in here because I've done a lot of paintings. This is all the paintings I've done and I think I told you this in my last one but anyway. So this is all of the ones I've done and I'm showing you from the very start on how shit I was to the very good bits now. Anyway, when I first started, like ever, I joined and joined a bit late. So like everyone was apparently I did not miss much much but I joined in late. Anyway, this was my very first one. Um this was a still life one. So very silly life. I hope the sound is alright. I should really check that before I start recording. But anyhow, um this one was my first still life and my first of painting I haven't done in a long time. I haven't done painting in like ever since high school so like doing this again was just like so different for me but anyway so this is what it was this is what it is and as you can tell it's it's okay I did all right and it's a still life so pretty much as you can tell it's still life so there's a box where it's having like the pots and stuff on there so that was my very first one now look about it, I really do not like this, but this was my first one, so anyway, that was like a practice painting. Second one that I've ever did, which was when I started getting a little bit better with the painting, so this was like in a second week. Once again, still life. I am very, very proud of the table I made. It's hard to see because if you see in a bit of the, but the legs and stuff. I am proud of the table. There is a table there. I should have used a bit of a dark white, but anyway, like... This is when it started to look a bit better. Still not the proud of it, but this was when it's starting to look a bit better. And you know, it's still very simplistic and I still didn't know what the fuck I was doing or anything. The next ones we had to do landscape. So this was my first ever pretty decent landscape. This reminds me of a lot of it's very simplistic, but this reminds me of a lot of a painting that I did in high school. There was landscape but it was with acrylic paints and I'm pretty sure acrylic paints don't blend as well as like oil paints. But anyway, this is like another landscape. Very in a way cartoony, very simplistic thing I like about this one. First of all, I think I might, you know, redo the the like the clouds a bit. Um but like I like this one because look how simplistic it is, it's just a big open plain. Big open plain, but there is a basic tree right there. And yeah, and every once in a while you might see my initials on here because um, yeah, we did another like we did another landscape we did landscape for two times. Why is there stuff on this? Oh no, not my paintings. Stuff is getting on them. This is unfair. Why? Okay, there's a little bit of a gunk on it, but anyway, this is the another landscape one. This is like the first one I was ever really like proud of like this is when my skills were getting a little bit better so this is landscape it's on my board the other thing um so yeah anyway as you can tell it's really really cool it's hard to tell once again glare but there you go but i had to like redo it the second time around like go touch it up a bit because that little first of all that little spot there is not meant to be part of the painting that just gunk that somehow magically landed down my painting but anyway, as I said, um, when I first did this, the sun, there's pictures on Instagram, the sun and like the clouds weren't showing up well and the sun looked kind of really shitty. Now it's all blended well, the, I made sure the road is more like, like noticeable now and like, like technically obviously that side is more like the, you know, more 
darker side and the side's not the light side. And there's that side over there. Really fucking does look like clouds. But once again, I love my landscape ones because it's really easy to do landscape because all you have to do is use you use a lot more paint doing this one, but it's pretty much just all blending and it's really cool. And stuff. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if it was uh, one of the things that I'm showing you. I think the next one was, um, the next one was, um, uh, self-portraits. And first of all, this is the first painting that I have done. I haven't done, like, painting in a while and I, I'm not good with painting, um, like faces and paints it's easier by like drawing on like my drawing skills are really good with that but anyway that's that but anyway um this one um is me a self drawing of me but we had to put like our like we had to look at a mirror we had to look at the mirror and then just like the mirror of us and then just like copy what we're wearing that day so it's kind of like anyway life drawing but you're drawing yourself and stuff like that Anyway, this is me. I'm gonna say I'm not proud of the face at all because it looks really tacky. It looks like something I would do in high school. But I promise you, paintings like faces like that are so easy for me to do now. And honestly, my shading was a bit shitty that day. <laughs> what the fuck was I doing with the shading? But a lot of people, my teachers seem to like this one. I do like my hair though, and like the really really nice blending colors. Like this was when my hair was like you know blue, bright blue on top and then purple down below and I had my black nose ring in, I had like a grey colour lipstick on my lips and my piercings, even though I have an other piercing now and I kind of had a blackish top on and that top, since it was around winter, this top I love wearing, you may have seen me do videos on it where it's a big long sleeve top but it's so baggy, it's tight around the, like the top is tight around the, like uh, the thing and then it was a very unique artsy looking top and it's kind of the top that I like wearing around winter time now and yeah but anyway honestly I got better from this on doing faces and stuff I'm pretty sure the second one was doing layered painting so layered painting I'm just mess making a mess in here but layered painting is pretty much well obviously it's layered the Oh, why is my painting all getting all fucked up? No. Anyway, so layered painting pretty much means um, you have one painting, like one painting, um, one painting bigger than the other. Like, so one will be bigger than the other. There'll be like different area, like areas and areas stuff, stuff like that. But anyway, so I did one of my cats. First of all, you guys know about the cat. I told this you guys in like um uh, one of the Undertale videos saying that one of my cats passed away late last year around at like oh was that on New Year's Eve so yeah so this one was in memory of her so this is my cat who passed away her name was Tiger and stuff and honestly I probably would paint over that to cover that anyway this was just the picture because she was in a Pepsi box obviously Pepsi logo not sponsor <laughs> she was in a Pepsi box and this was just a, a picture I had on my phone and she looked cute and adorable and she was literally looking at me and yeah and um, so this was her um kind of once again kind of in the cartoon to, to cartoony style to, to do cartoony styles easily but yeah just capturing her happiness and this was obviously a few weeks before that she went funny and stuff so yeah that's a little memory of her so cute and then you'll be teary seeing it but i made her in a smaller frame um, I painted her on a smaller canvas because she's a smaller cat and then my bigger cat is on a slightly bigger canvas and this is my cat now that you probably see in one multiple times my videos but yeah anyway just her sleeping and doing that if I touch this up again I made it more of a blue with black than a black I might just you know touch up that a bit again but I like it once it gets very simplistic and very cartoony and captures her when she's just sleeping on the couch and you know just the background of the house and stuff once again this is another photo that was on my uh phone um that i had there and i just painted those two things and yeah they're very special for me and soon they'll be put up somewhere hopefully after that we had to do uh whoa. anyway after that we had to do figures um so i like to use figures and stuff and i saw a, like a, a black and white photo of a painting that has been done before like a really really old painting I don't know who the artist is I don't remember who the artist is but the painting was about like it was it was an old-fashioned painting 
probably like 1920s, I would say. So it's pretty old. Um, anyway, so I just went and, you know, took that style painting and did the exact same figure but did it differently. I didn't do the full face and everything. I just did it more in a Muppet kind of Muppet, kind of like, you know, hands and like more mittens kind of style and have no face and stuff. And made him more fabulous looking. And yeah, this is what I came out in. Um, so yeah, it's a fabulous one. Um, technically in the original one he's looking out a window and stuff, but this one I made it more fabulous looking. And yeah, I do like doing this painting style where you just overpaint it and it kind of gets a like, kind of like a weird, kind of thick texture, but it feels cool. But yeah, anyway, I like it because it's a fabulous looking guy now. <laughs> and I love it. Anyway, there was a point where it was like two times where we could do whatever the fuck we want. Um, which we're doing now, we're just doing whatever we want to do now, painting-wise, because we pretty much know all the paints. Once again, I think I should not put the, all the paints together because they seem to be fucking up my paintings in a way, but I could easily repaint and touch up and fix it up. It's like a tattoo, you sometimes you might have to touch it up again if it fucks up. But anyway, this was one where, like, I actually, no, this one this one had a thing where we had to say, like, I think, no? Or draw your favourite thing or something. Anyway. I saw a perfect picture beforehand. I saw a perfect picture of Melanie and Melanie Martinez, and it was technically a GIF that she had. And anyway, I paused the GIF, and I paused at the right time because she was having like a, a dummy in her mouth. And I paused at the right time, and I pretty much copied that painting, like copied that picture, and made it my own style, and made it like obviously like a crybaby, and I did like the famous teeth, one of the tears that you see on the album cover and stuff. But anyway, this is what it was, and pretty much how. So this is the first time I ever did a face and blending skills really, really well, and now I can do faces on paintings really, really well now. So anyway, this was it. I was once again, it was on the wooden board. So that's obviously Melanie Martinez. It kind of looks like her. You could tell. Once again, the style is nice, and I love my blending here. Like the background here is so gorgeous. Like blending with all these gorgeous browns. Like you can tell it looks like wood there and it's so gorgeous and I'm really glad that um blending there obviously her hair um her hair of her famous hairdo that she has like a dummy when I saw that this dummy was actually lighter but I went into a darker pink because um it was too light and it was kind of clashing with her like top that she was wearing and um of course the teardrop that it has nose piercing that technically is not meant to be there um, that's why I said I probably might retouch this up again, put more skin color down there because yeah. But the blending is nice and everything. This was the first time ever and I was so proud of this one. This was the first time ever that I did a painting that actually didn't look creepy or I didn't I was so happy with that. So that's really cool. And then last but not least, I was really excited to show you guys these this anyway. Um, I'm super glad this video is not going on for like a massively long time. It will be edited so any times when I don't talk or anything and there will be music in the background this time and we'll be talking or anything. There is, this is like the one that I wanted to show you guys most that I technically did a little bit of the painting at school but then I had to finish it at home because I was kind of running late with it and stuff and this one I'm so proud of and I love it. And you know me, an Undertale. <laughs> and also, by the way, I am going to do another Undertale stream. By the way, I'm trying to finish off the genocide route and stuff. So hopefully you guys will be able to watch me then and stuff. But anyway, this is the genocide route one. Well, this is just Frisk. I, I say Frisk is a female. So I know she's like gender. She's, no, she's like no gender, but I just I call her female. Anyway, this is Frisk in a thing. And I kind of had an idea first of all I did the frisk and I didn't know what I was going to do for the background. So obviously that's frisk. This was done like kind of the original style but helped with the kind of like anime like style and stuff. Very simplistic, very cute and adorable. But anyway the background, I got the idea to do the background myself and do it well because I thought of you know that scene in the pacifist route or maybe it happens in the neutral route too. Um, the scene where um, Naps the Block and Frisk like chill out together and then eventually if you sit there long enough the room will turn into space pretty much. So I took, kind of took the spacey like idea, idea 
and put it in the background of hers and I love this one so much. It's so cute, it's so adorable, the blending is amazing in this one, put the little stars and stuff and it's the cutest one I've ever made. <laughs> but yeah, I should show you, yeah, I'm not still not the best at painting but my painting skills have improved a lot of the time. Yeah, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching, there is going to be a next video after this. Um, I really hope you enjoy that all my painting that stuff I have done throughout this semester and now it's the next semester obviously but I was uh, just really thankful that you guys do definitely enjoy these um, episodes stuff so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching remember guys be cool and doing not be in room and I'll see you guys in the next video where I make bye Do.